Hello Crave users, today we are going to talk about these little two screws in oscillator section. Some of you maybe tried to tweak these little screws and you know that they change the pitch. However, there are two of them and they both influence the pitch. I tried to find information in the manual on official website. I tried to Google and I didn't succeed in finding an answer to the question why there are two of them and what is the difference between these little two screws. So I tried to explore this mystery by myself from scratch and what I found out. Let me show you. I have my Crave. I have my keyboard. I made this layout this way so you could see the whole range of my keyboard. And in the left bottom corner, you see the tuner. I have a little screwdriver. To repeat all the actions in this video, you should have something like this. Okay, let's see on my tuner. I press C. Let's tune it. Something like this. Uh, at this point, it doesn't matter how accurate I'm here. I push C1, C2, and C3. And look at the tuner, it shifts my C note. So here it's quite okay. Then, next octave. You see, my note C shifted down. Next octave, again down. I switch an octave up. You see how the offset is raising as soon as I change my octave up and up. So you see the problem. To solve this problem, we need to calibrate these two screws. One of them is the static position of the frequency knob. What I mean here, I would prefer if the very central position of this knob will result in note C. So let me set it. You can't be that accurate with this knob. This is fine tuning for more detailed uh, settings. So this is C. But again, my problem C in octave up and up is not actually a clean C. We need another screw. This screw is mean something like note stretching. So if this uh, second screw, we set the position of this knob, uh, the first screw sets uh, something like stretching, whether an octave gonna be like this or a bit wider, or a bit narrower, we can stretch this octave with this screw. Uh, so let's try it. I'm gonna play an octave until I catch the same note on my tuner. At the moment, actually, it doesn't matter if the note is clean or not, you'll see. You have to try both direction, right to left, left to right, to catch the static position of the tuner. At the moment you see, I'm far from the truth. Or closer. Let me show exaggerated wrong settings of this first screw. You see how far an octave may be offset. The goal of the setting of the first screw is to catch the position where I'm gonna play an octave and the tuner gonna show the same note without these offsets. 
Again, it doesn't matter what node it is. We shouldn't see any offsets and shifts. So, I guess I'm done. Look, I press C, then another C, and another, and I'm quite in the same position in, on my tuner. Let's check on other octaves. C plus 21 cents. Again. Again. I guess I set the position quite right. Uh, anyway, the synth is analog and the VCO tuning is gonna be shifted anyway in couple of cents. Okay, I've set my note stretching. I have clean octaves. And now it's time to set the second screw. It's just the static position of this knob. Uh, as I mentioned previously, I would prefer the central position of this knob to be in perfect C. Let's sketch this. I should check up my first screw. I have some difference in two octaves within almost one cent. I'm gonna tweak a bit more. So I guess I catch the right positions of the screw and now you see I have quite clean octaves. But again, as far as it's an analog synth, the tuning of the oscillate uh, is gonna be shifted a bit within a couple of cents all the time. I press and hold the key, and you see on the tuner the values of the note are constantly changing a bit. Okay, I'm done. I've calibrated my oscillator, and now I can use Crave with arpeggios or sequences with a wide range of notes. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it useful. If you are a Crave user, you must calibrate your VCO to have uh, clean tuning. So drop all your activities by a little screwdriver and do it. Goodbye.